All right, I moved to a drier spot on my newspaper. I've polished it. Now, when you're ready to patina, if you use black or um, copper foil, you patina. <laughs> if you use silver, it's already silver. So you're not gonna change the color, you skip this step. On this table, make sure you pay attention, but there's a larger blue bottle and it says black patina. And then there's one that's pink that says copper patina. So choose the one that you need. And we're doing copper today. And then there's a little um, stack of cups. Um, we're gonna pour a little bit in there. You do not need a lot. So please just pour a little because this stuff's expensive, but that's pretty good. That's probably more, more than enough. And then in our carousel, um, there's brushes, there's toothbrushes. I, you can use a brush. I like to use a toothbrush. I just clean these, so I know they're good. Um, I would clean it before I use it, just to make sure. But I'm gonna dip the head of the brush in here, and then I'm just gonna gently go over my foil and see how it's already turning, it's already turning copper which is what we want. So it doesn't take much. I'm gonna go around the edges before I flip it, but let me hold it up. But you can see it's turning copper already. This is also when you're gonna see if you um, polished well enough, because um, sometimes you put the copper on or the black and there's still like impurities. And if you're not happy with something, you can go back and polish again and, and re-patina. Let's flip this guy. Sometimes the ring changes color, other times it doesn't. But it's nice to hold it in the light because I can see like spots I've missed. So. It's still silver there, so let's go over that again. look at it like you can see where there's darker spots copper will naturally this is patina it will naturally patina over time and it'll you know get darker and change if that really bothers you like where it's darker that's when you would take the steel wool you know let dry this off steel wool and go over polish it again to pick up those impurities or you can embrace it because it still looks it still has that copper effect. What do you think? Do you want to keep it or do you want to go over it again? I'll keep it. It does like But yeah, over you time. can over time copper copper actually turns green and like really? over like a lots of years, but yeah. Mm, I'll see. Okay, because if you wanna polish it again, we should do that before we do the final step. I can just keep it like that. Okay, some kids, like, I don't know, they get it so shiny, but they must polish forever. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do, because we have all this flux on here, we're just going to bring it to the sink and just kind of rinse it off. Just to rinse the flux off. Cold water is fine. Give it a good shake.
dry it with a paper towel on. Yeah. Okay, you can stop that.